Hi guys, welcome to Concept of Mathematics and today I will explore some hidden concepts behind lowest common multiple. One question remained in my mind since I was in the school. Can we find LCM of negative numbers? Well, to understand this, I have to eliminate the application part of LCM. We all know LCM is basically used to find equivalent fraction of two or more given fractions to evaluate their sum or difference. In our case, I have chosen two fractions, 3 fourths and 5 sevenths. What do these fractions represent? Well, first represents each quantity after dividing three quantities into four parts or groups. Similarly, second one represents each quantity after dividing five quantities into seven parts or group. And we know very well that negative parts or group has no meaning in real life. Whereas numerator may be negative, this is hidden concept explains very well why can't we find LCM of negative numbers if someone gives you negative denominator that is negative 4 negative 7 in this case then bring it up in front of numerator by multiplying by negative 1 in numerator and denominator both or else if someone gives you negatives in numerator and denominator both then it is very easy to cancel it and then we get original fractions 3 fourths and 5 sevenths now we will define the least common multiple of two numbers. It is as follows. The least common multiple of two numbers A and B variously denoted as LCM parenthesis A comma B parenthesis close LCM A comma B or by using a square bracket A and B is the smallest positive number M for which there exist positive integers n sub a and n sub b such that the product of number by integer n sub a equals n sub b times b equal m. From above definition, it is clear that LCM of numbers is positive quantity and n sub a n sub b obviously positive integers and m is greater than 0 this implies that our numbers a and b must be greater than 0 now we will see the universal method that is prime factorization method to Calculate LCM of given numbers. For example, to find LCM of 12 and 30, write down prime factorization of 12 and 30 as follows 12 equals 2 to the second power times 3 to the first power times 5 to the zeroth power. I have written 5 to the zeroth power. I will explain later. Next, 30 can be written as 2 to the first power times 3 to the first power and 5 to the first power. I have chosen uh, 5 to the 0 because it has appeared once in the factor of 30. Now, there are 3 prime numbers namely 2, 3 and 5 have been used as a factor to make 12 and 30. So we will write down all three primes 
leaving their exponents. Here I have written question mark. We will get it soon. The highest component of 2 between the factors of 12 and 30 is 2. So we will raise the exponent of 2 to the second power. Similarly, the exponent of 3 and 5 will be 1 and 1 respectively because it is the highest among 0 and 1 and 1 and 1. This numerical expression can be easily evaluated which is nothing but 60. Wow! We got our LCM. Isn't it cool? This quietly is done. Similarly, the least common multiple of more than two numbers is defined. The least common multiple of A, B, C and so on is denoted as LCM of A, B, C and so on. The least common multiple of two or more numbers that is A, B, C and so on can be obtained by finding the prime factorization method in similar fashion. Suppose I write A equals P sub 1 raised to the power A sub 1 and so on to the P sub n to the A to the nth power where A1, A2 and An denotes the exponents of primes of A. Similarly, B can be written in the this way, where B1, B2, Bn denotes the exponent of primes of B. Likewise, C can be written here. The least common multiple is then given by product of primes raised to the maximum power where p i s are all prime factors of a b c and so on and if p i doesn't occur in one factorization then the corresponding exponent is taken as zero now we will dive into some deeper concept of lcm by using graphical representation of LCM. Suppose LCM of two positive numbers A and B is C. Then it is evident that C is greater than or equal to our larger number B. Since it is common multiple of both numbers, obviously list one. The equality will hold only if either A is equal to 1 or B is equal to 1. Oh no! Here our LCM is less than B. Oh! Because A is towards left to A. 1. Is our interpretation wrong? Let us investigate it. Absolutely not. Note that since A lies between 0 and 1, hence it is a fraction. So let A is equal to half. Half can be written as 2 to the negative 1 power and 1 can be written as 2 to the 0 power. Now, as per definition of LCM, we have learned so far. LCM is product of all prime factors raised to the highest available power. Please note that highest power of 2 is 0, not negative 1. Hence, our LCM is 2 to the 0th power, that is 1. And it's 1 again 
prove that C is greater than or equal to B. Next time, I will explore the concept related to highest common factor. If you like this, please subscribe my YouTube channel, Concept of Mathematics. Thank you very much.